Today's question comes from somebody who literally their username says, I don't know. So I guess they don't know their own name. And they say basically, I used to lucid dream all the time. Yeah, I used to have these regular lucid dreams every week, you know, every few days. And then I stopped doing it for a while, for whatever reason, they don't, they don't specify. They just started focusing on other things and there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. It's, you know, naturally when you start lucid dreaming, you're gonna wake up with this newfound confidence and energy. You're gonna start focusing on other stuff, you know, whether that's your own business, your life, your personal goals, what you want to achieve or whatever it is, you're gonna bring that back into the, into the waking world and you're gonna start focusing on other stuff. That's just how it works. That's just where lucid dreaming takes you. However, they say they tried to get back into lucid dreaming and found they couldn't do it. They used to do it before, fairly regularly, but now they can't do it and they're wondering what, what's changed? Why is it so difficult now? Oh boy, this is a tricky one because as frustrating as it is, there is a really simple answer to this and that is to do with the way that your brain adapts to new stimuli. So when we learn something, we typically create a neural pathway in our brains which basically associates certain things with certain other things. Neurons that fire together will generally wire together. So you used to have a pattern, you used to have a routine where you would practice certain things and then eventually it led to lucid dreams, right? As you say, you used to lucid dream quite a lot. Now what happens when you stop doing that is that neural pathway gets broken down. So although you'll never forget how to lucid dream, you'll never really forget everything about it what will happen is you'll become less and less likely to have the experience because you had that break in the middle, right? Because you stopped doing it, that neural pathway weakened and weakened and weakened until eventually it's gone, right? Now, just like riding a bike, you never truly forget. However, riding a bike is actually easier to remember than lucid dreaming because it's a physical motor neuron pathway. It's something, a physical movement is always easier to remember in terms of, you know, literally, as they say, muscle memory, in terms of how you remember it, than something mental, like a, a habit or a, a mental exercise. And lucid dreaming really is a mental awareness exercise when you break it down. So there's a few things that you could do. The first one is probably the hardest, but also the most simple and obvious solution is just to, to learn again and to follow the exact step, steps that led you to become a lucid dreamer in the first place. So however you learned the first time, go back and do those exact same things. It's annoying, right? And it's gonna take a long time. It's gonna, however long it took you to learn how to lucid dream, it's probably gonna take you this, a similar amount of time to relearn it because you've essentially allowed yourself to forget how to do it. Although you know how it works in your brain, your subconscious mind, the neural connections and the pathways, they're gone because you had that break. So it is very much like a muscle. You need to use it or you will lose it. So go back and learn exactly what you learned the first time and just go through the process again. Now, there is a second approach, a sort of a backdoor way here, which will it will make it work a lot faster. It will get it will get you back to the point that you were at before a lot faster than if you just learned the same thing that you did before. And that is learning a completely new way of doing it. Whatever techniques you were using before, whatever methods you were using, whatever reality checks you were using, put those to one side Forget those for a second. I mean, you've already forgotten them, right? You're telling me you've, you've already forgotten them. And learn new ones, new techniques. If you used the mild before, use the wake back to bed now. If you use the finger palm push reality check, use a nose pinch now. Use something different to what you were using before. Use a completely different new way of doing it. And luckily with lucid dreaming, there are several techniques. There are loads of different methods and you, you have options, right? You have loads of different ways you could do this. So just learn new techniques and do it in a different way. And what that will do is that strengthens a new neural pathway and it builds it up a lot faster than it would build up if you didn't, if you did something that you've already done. Now, I can't think of why, because in, in logical terms, it seems like the best way of doing it would be to follow the steps you've already done before. But from my experience and the experience of several others I've spoken to, right? You learn, f you get back on track faster if you do new things because your brain loves novelty. We are wired to love new experiences, new ways of doing things and fresh approaches to things. So if you go in now and learn a different technique, it's likely that that's gonna work very fast for you. And I would say that's probably the best way of getting back into it, is just to learn a different technique. Now you mentioned that you have trouble remembering how to do reality checks or you know reminding yourself to do them, okay? This is a very common problem as well. If you have an iPhone, 
you could download my app. I made a, uh, a Lucid Dreaming app, which reminds you to do reality checks. It's literally called How to Lucid. If you search it on the iOS store, you will find it there. However, you could also just put notes around your house. Like this note here literally says, are you dreaming? I've got another one on my door. You know, I speak about this all the time. I'm sure you've heard me speak about this. Just try and remind yourself in as many ways as you can to do reality checks. You'll get back on track. I promise you, you will get back to the state you were at before, if not slightly better. But the fact that you've already experienced it, you already know what it feels like and you know that it's possible, right? Which is a big hurdle for most people. Most people just don't even think it's real. The fact that you've done lucid dreaming before means you're gonna find it a hell of a lot easier to motivate yourself to learn again. So good luck. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques, and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.